Hi friends, this is Lakshmi Deepak. Yeah, today I'm just planning to have a some conversation about the customer. That means uh, today I'm going to concentrate on a customer. So consider, uh, I have a customer who really wants very good interaction with the organization. That means the customer's account and the customer's case, the task and other sub objects which we provided which you have a right in real time that means the dashboards the reports the cases and the tasks whatever he creates instead of having a salesforce he need to do his own activity on a salesforce or as a customer right so here i want to take some advantage to my customer so really they can really check their accounts and what the stuff they re really have in the organization. So what I will do further, the Salesforce is an application, Salesforce CRM is providing an option which we can interact more interactive services to a customer. So what happened, there is an something like customer portal. You can see here customer portal. In customize customer portal. What I will do, now I am going to enable the customer portal to my customers. So edit save done so you know the software you know the application business cycle the lead will convert customer to the organizations right so what i will do i will take a lead tab i will take here uh, i will take a lead tab here it doesn't mean to take but my focus i'm just removing this is not required as of now so what i will do i will take my lead where is lead yeah it is already here sorry i didn't check it okay fine i have a lead here so what i will do uh, these are the some consider all open leads i don't have you have any leads so i will get some delta from a salesforce team what i will do i will open the akin christian is a lead for me now i will convert you know i hope you guys know about well good it convert the case when i convert a lead it will create one account one contact and some other stuff so here see here it is creating one account one opportunity and one contact so what I will do, I am just saving and subject is not a mandatory field here. Let it be video oh, while, just loading up. So actually now I converted one lead, now it will open the account step. You can see here there is a one contact and one opportunity. Now I will open the contact not this contact let me go with uh, some other contact uh, contacts oh sorry this is contacts contacts yes from a little bit confusion so if i open wasabi uh, you can see the buttons like edit delete clone request update right if i open the contact who really have an account you have another option like manage external user it means whenever the account the contact have a relation with an account that means every contact if contact have an account as a relationship then we have a fourth button like manage external user for the same i will do here as i am just adding one let it be there are some proxy settings okay sorry okay privacy settings i don't need one okay fine now you can see here okay what happened this was somewhere i went let it be mm, in open now i will do I will add contact account name as a relationship. Now I will take Deepak one. Okay, so 
I'm saving. Now you will get a fourth option that you can enable manage external user. Consider if you want to enable as an external partner user, you should have a valid email address. Why we need valid email address? I will show you now. You got you guys will get to know. So what I will do? I am just enabling. So no, no. See, there is a it automatically redirect to user object and creating a new user. Here you can see there are four profiles. As for Salesforce, we even here we have a some licenses, user licenses, authenticated website, customer community, customer login place, and now as of now I am choosing high volume customer portal, and the profile is high volume. So okay, consider save. See, fact. Portal account owner has no role. It means, what does it mean? The user who is trying to convert, that means I mean to say lava lava, is trying to convert enable partner. Before enabling, the user should have a role in his profile. Let my let me go to the profile. So set up. So here what you will do, you will go with the users. User. Manage users, users. And I can select lava, right? So what I will do, I have no role. You can see, I have no role. So what I will do, I will open my user. I'll edit. Uh, you know, I am the CEO to my organization. So I am just adding, <laughs> just back. Okay, let it be. I just saved it. So what I will do, I will go back. Click here to return to the previous page. It is written. Now I will save. Now I, now it will be it will successful. You can see. You got it right. So what you will do, uh, in the registered email that means Lakshmi Deepak Power, it will receive an email for customer portal login. It receives some username and password to do customer login portal because I am a customer now, so I need to log in. You can see. Uh, something you receive Lakshmi Deepak power at gmail okay cakes here my question is where I need to do this login is this with login.salesforce.com or test.salesforce.com no obviously wrong there is some other link where we have a customer portal customer portal is providing if you see Customers portal, yes. Yeah. Here you have just to open the customer portal what we created. So there you have, have login URL. Just copy the URL. Okay. Now I am opening my private browser. In private, that means I mean to say another browser. I am doing the customer portal login. And what I will do, I will copy my password because I know my email ID. So I can copy my password. So what I will do here, I will try to do login. Uh, first I will paste my password. Okay. Now do login. Now I will get some standard tabs. Uh, okay. First it promotes for a new password. Okay. Let me create my new password. Yes, don't worry. Hmm. See here, I have a objects only cases, reports, dashboards. Consider here. My question is, do I have only four tabs? Is available only on customer? Obviously, no. What we can enable the custom objects, service full force pages, everything, whatever we do with the sales force. So let me say, let me add one custom objects. Okay, before that, I need to check what custom objects I have in my organization. Objects. Uh, where? Oh, here. Okay. And here, you can see here. So, what I will do, there are some custom objects, right? Expensive, Lakshmi, and everything. So, what I will do here, I'm just editing expensive. Mm, okay. Uh, expensives okay let me say I will edit expensives hmm. 
on here you can see another option available for custom object customer portal you just select it and check that box and click ok and you just try to refresh here oh still I have four tabs oh, yeah I forgot we need to configure the object in the profile level uh, what profile we have for that user so let me go to the user first so what I'll do I'm going to the user yes this is a user now I'm opening the customer portal so as we know that if we want to edit anything we need to clone the existing objects right so what I will do here I am enabling objects like customer okay customer partner PRT partner Lot of silly mistakes. Yeah, let it be. On um, what we'll do here now, I will try to edit and I will add an objects like see here expenses. No, I'm giving all permissions. Yes, done. And um, I'm saving. So here we have an see. Review the restriction. Read all accounts. So there is an option we need to provide. Okay, okay, I got it. So what I will do? Accounts have no permissions. So what I will do? Sorry guys. So before that, instead of this one, I will take some other object. So why I will explain. For the customer portal, the op account objects have read and edit option. But here expense use will say read create. It will have a relationship between account and contact. It will create a new account. So what happening here? It is not allowed to read all account so what I will do objects uh, I'll explain I will enable invoice okay and that to hope it will work for all mm, I will try it down okay fine let it be. Okay, save available for customer portal. So what I will do? Cancel. I will re-edit the profile. Now we have another object like invoice. Invoices. So I will give all permissions. Save. It is okay. Now what we need to do? There is a what is the user name is wasabi right so you just go where is the profile is this one wasabi you just open wasabi and enable the standard profile the custom profile for customer portal so because we need to enable so the customer portal yes enable Here you just try to refresh. No, still you didn't get why so. And what? Let me say one thing. Let me. I will explain why it is not coming. So what you will do? Again, go to the customer portal settings. And again, what you need? You just open the customer portal and here you can see edit portal tabs right so here you can see edit portal tabs customize just before doing this let me add here assign profiles here only the assign profiles are 
no custom i just created one custom over which is not added so let me add that customer portal here edit profiles so i am selecting the customer portal which i created as a custom for customer for portal user so now i will go let me go to the custom portal tabs now i have expenses and invoice right invoice invoices so selected tabs okay let us save now uh, what i will do i will do refresh now you see invoices reports cases and dashboards okay just because dashes are removed maybe here like you can add custom portals customize portals here you may receive dashboards out maybe i may disclose the dashboards okay let it be dashboards have no permissions i need to edit permissions so what i'll do uh, yes because of you i will edit the dashboards permissions to here so dashboards is not selected okay let it be uh, dashboards is not available for custom portal in the object level so what i'll do oh you, you understand and i forgot to say one thing here so you got one link right this link uh yeah, let me open control c i'm closing the private browser and i will open reopen the to explain in private browser i'm pasting so if you see there is a user so if you ask me can you customize this page uh my answer is no because we can't customize the customer portal login secure customer portal login but what we will do we have to use the link where we get in our visual for space or some other gui customer user interference there you can provide stating that create on button customer portal login and just click okay you just do the same but we can't do this one okay this is a standard page which cannot be modified on there are some other things need to explain here but just because of duration i'm just closing today and i will update in the part 2 thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and hit a like once you like and do post queries if anything thanks for watching bye bye